Okay, hello and welcome. And next I am planning to show you that how to fix this bad moving uh, rear wheel or front wheel. This is actually yes, this is front wheel. And and why this my uh, front wheel is not moving? There is now situation that this brake system is stuck. And this brake systems they are there is corrosion and not enough oil and lubricant. And how to how to fix that kind of issue if our feel is 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 like in up and there is like air and normally this feel should rotate very easily. Let's go to look what I mean. Okay, and here we have this. Rear feel and this this rotates as is it should be and this is my target also in this my rear area uh, sorry sorry this front area because now this rear areas feel is moving so easily and we can test that so that when we insert one finger and if this brake moves like that then our brake system is okay and this is also target now to this my front areas feel and tire also because now I can rotate this benchmark this rear areas feel so easily but then when we go to look this my cars this front area this is like bad and stuck okay and now when I try to rotate that with my fun one finger test this feel is stuck. Okay, what to do? Next, first I need to take this bolts away and take this feel away and then we can check this brake system and I will show that how to make this this uh, feel to rotate easily. Okay, and now feel is away and first we can check that what is first inspection is that what is this brake disc status? And this brake disc must be very plain, like plain surface, that kind of plain surface. And and now this my brake disc is okay. And also then I touch in this down area that I check that is this another side also fine, similar. Normally these sides are always similar. Okay, and then next test check is to test these brake pads. Let's go to look those. Okay, and then I check that how much I have this amount in this brake disc and it is easy to see when we look that area this material what is between that metallic plate and then this metallic area is this brake friction material and we can see that there is this material left about uh, half centimeters and it means that in that area in here that it means that it is enough that there is no issues with that okay and then when I try to rotate this this brake disc this is so stuck that I can't move that okay and then we have next step this brake caliber and I have feeling that we have issue in that area in here this brake caliber area Okay, and now this is brake caliber area, and then I take my hands and I rotate this my my brake caliber in here that we can see. And now when I believe that these are stuck, I need to open these bolts and deep bolts in here that I can see that what is wrong in there. And I take my tools. Okay, and then when I need to open these bolts in here, in that bolt and that bolt, I need one four millimeter friends, that kind of friends, and friends, and then I I start to rotate and these bolts opens easily, and reason is that this is this system, this car is made by Toyota, and Toyota's products they are so high quality that like that bolt. This is only 20 years old, 20 years old, and this looks like similar 
then new German cars bolt. And this is Toyota's quality, that parts can be old like 20 years and they are still workable, no any corrosion in here. That's I like these Toyota's products. Because parts opens easily and this brake system is now only 20 years old, 2 zero. And I think that if this system is 20 years, 20 years old, there can be some issues even in Toyota car. Because, and then when I like to take this caliper out, I need to do so that normally it opens in that way, but now I need to slide that little bit and I use my tool in that way and, and I, I try to paint that, but now it seems that I might need this better tool because this is not screwdriver. Okay, but I go to take my screwdriver next. Okay, now I have big flathead screwdriver and then also flathead hit screwdriver. Okay, and then I insert my tool in here and I paint that little bit in that way. And now this my part opens in that way. And then I bend also in this down area in that way. And there is and then I insert my tool in here and I bend in this way. And then I move my hands and use please use protective clothes because I can hurt my fingers if I move that in this way and then I insert my finger in here and then I have bloody and bad cut in my skin. That's use always protective clothes because they are they protect our hands. And then I this is a little bit then I only move that in this way and also pull up in same same area. Force is like this direction. And soon this part opens. Okay, and now this brake caliber is in here. And this area can be stuck. I but then, then I check my next task is that and this is that that if now this brake pads, if I a little bit move that. If now this this system runs like in that way. Now I can say that there is no any issues with these brake pads. They are okay. These are fine. Issue is not in here. But then issue could be in then two positions. First one is that inside this brake caliper. This is stuck. This is the most biggest issue. And then these bolts in here. They can be stuck. And let's 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 check first these bolts. These bolts must move easily like in here. Look. We take closer view. And these bolts in that way, this is good. And then this upper one, it must be move also in that way. They are excellent. Look. They work really fine. Okay, then I have the final task and it is this brake caliper in here. And now I have issue in here and this is this is actually quite bad thing because normally I need to take that caliper out and and because there is rust in inside and that means that when I need to take that out, I need I need to do so that now I am thinking that maybe I can press that little bit this brake cylinder back in here or then I can press that out so that that I go to press brake pedal. But now I think that I start this my lubrication so that that I use use my big tongs and I press that that, that brake 
brake caliper back in this inside area. Okay, and then we need this big tongs. Look, I have really big tongs. These are mandatory. We can loan that kind of tongs for this adjust table, this mount area. And then I, when I, I try to press that down, I insert a little bit bigger that in that amount. And then I only press this system. I take a little bit better view. That we can see that what I am doing. There is this thing. Now I take my these tongs and then I only insert that in here and then I press this, this caliper back if everything goes by. And now, now this caliper is so stuck that I can't move that. Okay. Now it means that now I have to do so that that I I need to go in this car's car's cabin area and I need to press that caliper so many times that this pop out this caliper. And let's go to then inside of this car. Okay, now I am inside in here and then I am looking in there this brake pedal, the first brake pedal, and it is in here, and then I need to press that my brake pedal about, now I insert there is my foot, and then I press that about 10 times, and my purpose is to move this brake caliber away. Okay, and let's go to look what is result now. Okay, and now this brake caliber is quite much out, and I believe that it is mostly out in there, and, and then, then I can check that this is now almost in this upper position, and then I think that I can take, I can do next step. Okay, and then I, I need to take this brake caliper totally out and there is again 14 mm bolt and I need to open that bolt and also close that brake brake hose because otherwise brake fluid goes to out in my system and I need in here one clocking clock and close this uh, tongs and then I open also that bolt next Okay, now I test that is this my 14 mm also suitable tool for that bolt and it fits in their cool. But then this bolt is so tight that I can't open that in here. And I need to insert this my brake system back in these bolts that are in my hand. And now it seems that when I have I have to take this brake pass away and insert that my my caliper back and pulls in back in here and then I fasten these bolts because this must be solid and I and then I use my special this close uh, this brake hose closed that I inserted in here and then I believe that that now this brake fluid is stopped and then, then I have also smaller one and I insert like two two those tongs okay and now I believe that now this system is free and then there is this bolt what I need to open. It is in here. And I take my 14 mm this wrench and then I, I open that. 
and then there is a little bit uh, brake fluid and I have to be canister in here down because otherwise this brake fluid goes to ground. Okay and here is this my canister and then I open this bolt and note that there is two small plates do not forget and lost those and now brake fluid is going and there is this bolt and then I can take this that part away and at the same time I can also open this these bolts and I can take this caliper with me. Okay, good. And then there is this my my this caliper and then we go to look that closer and then remember that there is brake fluid and I cry I dry out all of these fluids in my canister. And then this brake fluid must must be sent to recycle center. Okay. And there is then this my waste canister is there. Okay, and now my issue area is in that area. And there is this my brake caliber. And it looks like that. Okay, now now when I am I am thinking that what is wrong in this my system, the issue is that in that area, what I use that kind of specific spike tool, and I lift that my rubber. The issue is in in here that this area is rusty and corrosion, and, and now I need to insert in that area some lubricant. And I have in here this lubricant spray, but I can, this is like oil, and I think that first I inserted my uh, oily lubricant in here, and I lift this carefully, this rubber, rubber hose first away, in that way, and then I insert in, in here inner, when I have first to manage open that I insert this my spray in that area and this is like very anti-corrosion lubricant and my target is to take that piston to movable that it moves in that cylinder. Let's look at how it op how it how it happens and first I insert now in here totally that area what is inside this this rubber, this boot, and then this area, I will add in there this my oily lubricant in there. Okay, and then I keep that, that I will keep that oil in there about 20 minutes, and then I start to press that cylinder in and out. And let's look what happens next. Okay, and now this my caliper is in this workbench, what is in there and I have inserted in here this lubricant. It is in the inner area and we can look that closer what it looks like. And then I add this my lubricant is this this penetrating penetrating oil. And then I insert that again. And this and I little bit make this and then in here now this nose is in inside and then more okay and then when I believe that this oil is in inside I need to do next step and if this next step is that that I I insert this my brake caliper in between that my workbench and I start to press I start to press this brake cylinder in, in that way and then I, I rotate that 
And then I start to move that. We can look also in that that view in here. That what I am doing. Now I am starting to rotate that. An idea is to press that caliper back in there. And, and this is and there is this my caliper. And let's look at how I manage to do that. And okay, and there is this my work teams. And, and normally, normally this my system works. Okay, and now I am continuing my this pressing process. And I am, and now this caliber it is going to in. Look, and this is great, but the, that area. Look in here, and when I am moving this my tool in here, little bit that my tool that I rotate these clamps in closer in that way, there is huge force now, and then then I rotate and look, this caliber is going deeper in that way, and now. No. Now the system it is it is now in, in here. And now this my caliber is in, but next I need to get this caliper back in this position. And and for that job I need to work a little bit more that I can take this caliper caliper next out in there. Okay, and now when this my caliper is in back in here, I insert this bolt back in here and I fasten that bolt and then in that way and remember to install these things in that way back. Look, this is this idea. That that this bolt goes in that hole. Look, and then this is the idea how this joint goes in there. Okay, and then I insert that my caliper back in here again, and then then I take this my this my locking clamps away. And then I insert again this brake caliper bolts in there. And then I go to next add brake fluid in this my system. Because now this brake fluid system is, is this empty and I need to of course add more play, brake fluid in their inner area, this brake fluid tank, and also I have to bleed next this my system. And that's that's I insert this first in that step and then we go to add this brake fluid more. Okay, and then we must have this high quality brake and clutch fluid and dot level is dot three or four. And I have in here one example what is cell. Cell is good quality and donax. And next we add that fluid in my brake fluid canister. Okay, and here is my engine. And then in here I have those, this brake fluid canister. It is in here. And let's go to look that closer next. Okay, and here is this brake fluid canister. And here is clutch fluid canister. There is two. This is clutch and this is brake. And we can add both of those canister, this brake fluid. It is same stuff. And now this canister should be a little bit empty. Yes, this is this cap. And then when we look in their inner area, we can see that it is actually it is quite empty. When we test that it should be in almost full line in here and, and next I add in there my this brake fluid. And it is that stuff. And open this security cap. 
in that way. And then I add in this my fluid in here carefully. And full tank now. And now it goes lower and I, I add more because always full tank is good. And it goes again. Okay, good. And then, then we can go to press this brake pedal next. Okay, and this brake pedal. Now we can leave this brake fluid in that amount and then we go to cabin area. That we press this our car's brake pedal. And door open. And there is brake pedal. Now I press that brake pedal about 10 times. Look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10. And then we go to look. It's my cars. This brake fluid amount. Okay. And it is quite good. And then we can go to look our brake caliber next. Okay, and here we have this our brake caliber. It is in here. And then we check that how much this our caliber, how much it has been moved. And I open again these bolts in here. And I, I need now this my friends. Open these bolts here. Good. And now now bolts are in there free, and then I take my brake caliber. And really, brake caliber it has been moved a little bit. Look, it is now caliber is more out and then I go to press this my brake pedal more and we can look that how much this this caliber is moving out when I brake again 10 times and let's look what happens next when I am I am pressing quite soon my brake pedal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and what happens when I press that ten times? Now this caliber is even more in there out. And then I can take my again this my oh sorry my my, this my brake, my big, big tongs. Here are, here are my tongs, and now I am planning to break and press this caliper back. And let's look at what happens next. And now maybe. And now, now this my caliber moves better. Look. Good. And now I can press that in. Good. Now I can press, look. Excellent. Okay, excellent. And then I can go to repeat this my work so that that I press this brake pedal again and I can add in here more lubricant and I can repeat that 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 process so many times that this piston start to move easily. Okay, but now I think that this is enough to me and I can assemble these pads back
and I can also to do this bleeding for this there's bleeding bolt in here that area that I can bleed my brake system and next I will assemble these things back and then we can check that how easily this brake brake and the feel is moving then and I will do those assemblies next and then we can look results okay and now when I have bleed this my brake system and I have assembled these parts and now I can rotate this my disc using my fingers and now I can see that this my lubrication to this brake cylinder is ha it has been it has been went quite okay and actually cool because now this wheel is not stuck and and final step is that I insert this my feel back in here and then of course what I need to do if I like to do this rotation so easy that I can rotate that my feel using only one finger then I need to replace this full brake caliber to new one like rebuild and it is possible and but now then I install this wheel back we can check that can I rotate can, can I rotate this my feel using this only one, one finger let's look and, and let's look okay now I can test that can I rotate that using one finger and, and this works just I have to press that but now this this repair is like okay but this is not the good one and if we like to do that that rotation to rotate easily it, that it rotates all time then I have to replace this brake caliper the new one okay but but now this is better this is not stuck this is working okay and that kind of information and thank you for watching that video.